Welcome to Global Perspectives. I'd like to actually begin today with some aspect of perspective. I'm asked about it quite regularly, about my life, my approach, uh, what's happened in the last few years, and at this stage of life, what the future looks like for me. Uh, recently, I did a time away to just do deep reflection and thinking. I decided since I was doing that, I might as well fast for a couple of days just to heighten senses and awareness. And I walked away with the summary of my life as this. When I look at my life currently, I have disproportionate amounts. I would say a significantly disproportionate amounts of pain, emotional and physical, of loss. And it used to be loneliness. It's now just become the newness of being alone. Um, it's kind of characteristic of my life. It's, it's, um, I have too much. Therapists tell me that. I have an interesting life in that I figured out I also have a disproportionate number of friends who are professional therapists. I don't know what that says about me, but it says quite a lot, I think. But along with the pain and the loss and the aloneness, people say to me with great regularity, Martin, you may have the best friends of anybody I've ever seen. And I smile and go, no, no, I, I think I actually do have. It's not maybe, I do. Um, I hear it all the time. So I have this, this significant number of high caliber friends, all walks of life. I also have huge amounts of love, young, old, male, female, all types of people. For some reason, I am very fortunate to have just people who love me and express it. And I also hear regularly, Martin, as bad as your life is, you have more fun than anybody we know. So let's put it together on perspective. On one hand is uh, pain and loss and aloneness. Also, an equally effective amounts are friendships and love and huge fun. On any given day, I can focus on one or the other. Even parts of days, I can focus on one or the other. Both are part of my life. Both are very real. I tend to be an optimist, so I focus on the friends and the love and the fun. Every once in a while, the cumulative effect of the loss hits me and I have part of a day where I have to look deep and hard. I can't just walk away from it. I have to deal with it. So the lenses through which you look at your life are crucial. Um, some of you will remember the, the movie that's uh, lived on for a long time called Dead Poet Society. And one of the things Robin Williams as a teacher tried to do is teach the students how to look at life and the world and reality around them so differently. He would teach them to stand up on their chairs. It was a conformist institution in a conformist era. But he would ask them to stand up on their chairs and on their desktops and look differently just to see what they could see. And the students got a very different perspective. Not long ago, I made an assignment to a student who was graduating with a significant master's degree. She was talented. She was probably going to be hired well. However, she still had perspectives that were outdated of her life. She'd gone through some tough things early in life, things that no one should have to go through. But she had a hard time updating. And I said to her, one of the assignments I'm going to give you is that we're going to hire a photographer to follow you around taking pictures of your life throughout a day. And then you will look at those so that you can see your life through other lenses. It's time to push pause. I will ask you to do that in the series of these talks that we give. Push pause and go, what am I seeing? What am I not seeing? Is there a way to see the best of what's happening for me, in me, through me? Is it time to include God in some of this and say, why can't I see what you see? We will continue some of these talks for today. It's let's put on a different set of lenses. I happen to like sunglasses. Matter of fact, I bought a pair yesterday in Charlotte. Uh, I walked in and said, I want some new sunglasses. I used the Australian terminology, sunnies. 
and I need some new sunnies. They didn't know what I was talking about. It was a sunglass hut in a very nice mall. And I said, I always want to start with what's for sale or on sale. And then I want to go to what I really like. And then you'll give me the sale price. I walked out with yet another pair, probably 20. But I love it because the color gives me a different look at the world. I have a different look when I wear them. I feel differently depending on what they look like. It's all the lenses through which you look at your life. Now you have eyes to see, both testaments of the Bible talk about eyes to see and ears to hear. We'll cover ears later. For now, may you see the best of what you are and can become.